Mm. Uh, Chesapeake woman is fed up with coyotes coming a little too close for comfort. 13 News Now reporter Adriana Dalba talked to her and she says this happens way too often. Yeah, Janet, officials say coyotes are becoming more comfortable approaching neighborhoods and humans. And experts with the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries say this trend is happening all across the state. But as you'll see in this case, they're not going away. And this video taken on Tracy Peterson's cell phone shows a couple of coyotes hanging out in the Chesapeake woman's backyard. Go! away. Lately, they've gotten a little too close. This has become her everyday battle. Every day, day and night. I see you. The coyote gets especially close, huffing and puffing, kicking his feet and running through her yard. Well, I'd probably cuss at him some and just what they say to do, wave my arms, yell, go away, shoo, go away. Doesn't work. He's, he circles back and comes back. He doesn't leave and he doesn't run. He doesn't, he just stands there and looks at me. The daily stare down leaves her at a loss for what to do. Her dogs, Indigo and Otis, have to stay inside most of the day. But we used to take them out back and let them run around and we can't do that anymore. Peterson says she understands coyotes are wild animals, but over time they've grown more comfortable hanging out in her backyard, even though she doesn't feed them. What else can I do but, you know, make him go away? But I can't even come out in my own backyard because you know, I've got to look around all the time. I don't like turning my back. There isn't much she can do about the wild animals. While they are considered a nuisance, she lives in a busy neighborhood near Greenbrier where firing a gun isn't allowed. And I don't want to live with them. <laughs> They're not my pets. <laughs> For now, Peterson hopes they'll just leave her alone. Go away! Doing her best to reclaim her backyard. <laughs> There isn't much she can do. Relocating the coyotes is illegal in our state. Coming up on 13 News Now at 530, what wildlife experts say you should do if you encounter a coyote. Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now. Wow, according to National Geographic, coyote populations are likely at an all-time high in North America. They hunt rabbits, rodents, fish, frogs, and even deer. Coyotes also eat insects, snakes, fruit, and grass. But because they sometimes kill livestock as well as pets, many consider them dangerous. Something else to note, they can run up to 40 miles an hour.